Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So, in the last episode, we actually got some of the crafting stuff done and ground up a huge amount of gold and money and stuff, and this episode, I have a few things I want to do. First off, fried squid. We actually haven't shipped this item yet, so I'm going to do that. Our cooking's already up to level 70, almost level to 71, so... Whenever we get around to actually cooking everything, you know, with the upgraded kitchen and everything, we'll all be good. Alright, let's sleep for tonight. <sighs> Alright, fried squid. Dried squid fried in a pan. Goes well with mayonnaise and mustard. Magic powder. Powder contains magic. Containing magic, I mean. Highly soluble in water. Can be used for many purposes. Orange. This fruit offers a perfect balance of sweet and sour flavors. A small egg, a small cockatoo egg, has the soft white uh, shell. And that's all the stuff that we really care about. I'm going to be shipping one of each of these. I've been holding on to the magic powder thinking I might use it for recipe, but we can get them en masse during the winter, and as such, it really doesn't matter. I don't plan on doing a huge amount of crafting this next season, so winter, it'll all be good. And done. I will also be shipping all the sashimi. That way it's just out of my inventory and have a bit more space. Okay, now... Let's water our crops. Skill up. Nice. Okay, if we take a milk, a large milk that is, we can get a large cheese. Sometimes I dream of cheese. Okay. Large cheese, a processed dairy product, a very refined cheese that fe can fetch a high price. Alright, another item off the list. So, I don't think I directly have a plan for today. I can't get Godwin his favorite gift or anything. I guess I can check to see if there's any gifts that I might have, but they definitely won't be the birthday gift. Okay, I look through his liked gifts, and there's one I can actually do. Alright, if we come up here, and go upstairs, because it's a bit early. Good morning! Raguna, what do you think we should do to make this a better town? Uh... It's fun as it is. Thanks, I'm honored to hear those words from you. I'll keep doing my best to make you hit a better town. Alright, let's give him some pineapple. Thank you. I really like the pineapple. Thank you. Okay, so that's today's event done. Now, rather than doing what we were doing last episode, where we were just constantly mining, I am actually going to be fishing. We need the one Mesu Trout. Once we catch that, we're all good here. I got a Mesu Trout, size 12 centimeters. Okay, and that's the last Mesu Trout I needed. I decided to actually just pause the recording for all of that because, you know, hard drive space is valuable and I care about it. I'd rather not have to delete any of this footage until ever. <laughs> I'm kind of a hoarder with it. All right. Um. Mesu Trout, a fisherman's standard catch. Although a freshwater fish, some travel to the ocean. We got a level 5, so it'll be worth about 150. It's not really fantastic when it comes to price, but, you know, it's fine. We did it. Another one bites the dust. Also, as you may have noticed, I had a bunch of sashimi because I actually had to come back up here, refill up my uh, uh, RP, and then make this stuff because I was out of inventory space. On the bright side, I actually got a cooking level out of this, so, you know, it was doubly worth it. Because now, we're up to level 71. I... I'm not going to be focusing on cooking or anything, so I'm not even going to take a look at that, but come winter, we'll start making everything we need to. So, 
what I want to do with this part of the day. I'm going to actually start picking some of this stuff. I'm going to pick... So I don't trust myself here. I really don't trust myself to actually remember. So I'm going to pick all the pumpkins I can. Or, or rather, all the pumpkins. I'm just going to go around grabbing at least one batch of each of these things. That way I actually be sure to ship and, you know, start giving some of these as gifts. Pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. I'm actually kind of hoping that the flowers up there actually go on the shelf and not in the fridge. I'm pretty sure they go on the shelf, but I'm not exactly positive. So, cross our fingers that I'm correct on that. Because I don't exactly have a huge amount of fr fridge space at this point, thanks to all those herbs that I'm stockpiling. Speaking of herbs. So also while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna grab some of these. Okay, the green pepper. Often abhorred by children, this vegetable's bitterness can be reduced when cooked. And the pumpkin. People often carve faces in these nutritious ve vegetables during the fall festival. Not bad. So, I have five more slots here. I may as well try to fill this up. Mission failed! We'll get them next time! The potato. This widely popular and versatile vegetable can be used in a variety of dishes. As well as the cucumber, this slender green vegetable tastes best raw, either as is or in a salad. There we go, two more items off the shipping list. Charm Blue, a deep blue grass known for its thorns. The Eggplant, a purple vegetable widely popular across the ages. And the Sweet Potato, sweet and full of fiber. This vegetable is popular with people who diet. Alright. So I got kind of distracted. I kind of meant to go down and plant some uh, crops down in Carmite. I think it was Car yeah, I think it's Carmite. Um, but, uh, you know, I started chopping, and when I start chopping, I don't stop chopping. I guess I could go and plant the first one. Whichever one has a longer... No, I can't. I thought I still had a full 20 minutes, and so I have 10 minutes, so never mind. I can't do that. Alright, uh, let's head to bed. <sighs> And we have a bunch of uh, corn and tomatoes ready. Nice. Um, I'll deal with these in a little bit. I won't, you know, mess with them right now. I'm about out of room now. Okay, so now I'll go in the other one, I'm assuming. Oh no, I think the flowers go in the fridge. Dang it! I knew there was something wrong with this game, that's what it was. Flowers are considered a produce, and as such, they go in the fridge. Well, that's very unfortunate. Okay, that hurts. I have no room then, so I've got to start dealing with this stuff more now-ish. Um, well, I don't need indigo grass nearly as much as I need the others, so I'll ship those. That leaves us with two more squares. Picking these carrots. 
trying to get my shipping list as taken care of before I do the time skip as I can. That way I just have a straight, this is what I need to do while I'm off screen kind of thing. So, I need to check this. The spinach as well. Alright, carrots. This long orange vegetable can be found in just about any kitchen. Spinach, dark green and rich in nutrients, the vegetable is said to give people strength. I could use the sapphire for something, but I think I'll just sell it for now. I figure I'd clear up some inventory space just by giving out the gifts I have on me. Thanks. Bees, do come in. Also, I just realized I never purchased books yesterday, so Wednesday and Thursday I need to buy books still. But that's fine. Let's bake me tender. This book contains oven recipes, costs 9,900. Blending in, this book has recipes that use a blender. But honestly, how often do you use a blender? It costs 1,200. Steam cooking. Yum, steamed food. There's my favorite. It costs 4500 Thank you for your purchase. Instant dishes. This is a book on recipes for the thrifty that don't require any cooking tools. It costs 3000 Thank you very much. Since I worked hard for these. A warrior certificate? Thanks, I love these. Thank you. I am on it. so happy. I wasn't actually giving you a strawberry, you just took that, despite you not being on that square. Hey! Oh my god, this tiling in this game is gonna kill me. Hey! Alright, now let's plant my cabbages! And... Uh, let's see. Was there an open square up here, or should I just plant it right next to the opening, right next to the entrance? Probably right next to the entrance, to be honest, but yeah. Actually, I'll be patient. I'll wait until one of these is finished. It's not like I'm hurting for shelf space right now. One, two, three, ah, ah, ah. The Pink Cat. This brilliant pink grass gets its name from its small flower petals. Ship one of these. Okay, that doesn't leave us with a lot of things left to do on my checklist. Um... I guess one of the best things I can do is actually spend the rest of the day fishing. Oh, main melody. It's a little mysterious here, but I kind of like it. That was weird. Hello. Seems like the monsters are growing more active. Be careful. Some relaxed tea leaves for you. Good evening. Thanks for the relaxed tea leaves. I'm so happy. So, everyone insists that you can definitely catch every different one of those fish that I've talked about here. Plus some. I'm not sure if I brought up the entire list, but... This right here on screen is the full list of all the ones that I've found people say that you can catch. I've actually added some to it because, you know, I was looking at the list and I'm like, I caught this here. So, cross my fingers, I might be able to get it. Some of them are reported to be like a 1% catch rate or something, so who knows. I may just need a better fishing rod and at that point this is just for the uh, experience of it then. I'm gonna guess based on how much trash I get in the area that it's telling me get a better fishing rod. And that will be happening for three more dungeons, so, you know, late winter, early spring, probably right in there. Alright, I actually caught a flounder while I was out there, so I'm gonna fry it up in the frying pan.
fried flounder. Salted flounder fried in a pan. The tried and true way. Remember, fresh is best. Worth six fifty, so definitely not bad. Alright, and that's everything for today. And I'm actually going to call that good overall. Guys, next time let's play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. This may have been a short episode, and that's honestly fine. But hopefully next time you guys will see a highlight reel, I guess. I don't have any specific things I need to be going for. I need to be fishing, of course, getting my fishing level up and cooking level up. My decoration level is already where it needs to be. And I don't really need to grind up either pharmacy or forging right now. Should I need to sometime during the month, I can. That's on my time, not on yours. Um, at the end of it, on the 31st day of fall, after I've shown all the festivals and shown how to get any gifts you can give, things like that, then, you know, I'll show you my end stats. This will be a bit of a time skip for you guys, as I've mentioned a few times, and that's fine. Um, I just want you guys to know exactly what to do and what to, how to experience things. I've shown a pretty good majority of the things you can do thus far, so let's get to it. See you guys, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye.